This video is brought to you by Superior Solitaire, with 11 game modes and no in-app purchases. Epilepsy warning for flashing lights and colors. We've talked about water slides on this channel, but what about other water rides? From shoot the shoots to log flumes, there are plenty of attractions that predominantly use water. But just like with roller coasters, certain ride models are more unique than others. So with the help of fellow YouTuber Canopy Coaster, and as voted on by the fans, here are the top 10 strangest water rides ever built. Number 10. The Zamperla Hydro Racer If you've studied vintage amusement park attractions, you'll likely know about the classic whip ride. This ride features small two-passenger cars that navigate an oval-shaped course. At each turnaround, the car speedily whips a full 180 degrees, as the ride's name implied. But imagine that instead of small wheeled cars, you row in mini speedboats. Though there isn't much known about this ride, it is said to have been built by Italian manufacturer Zamperla. According to the footage, each boat could seat three small children, or one parent and one child. Though not nearly as forceful or thrilling as the classic whip, it still stands out for its unique appearance alone. It's not very often you see a water ride inspired by a vintage flat ride. Despite its relative obscurity though, a copy of this ride still exists, and it's currently up for sale on usedrides.com. So if you have $17,500 to spare, you can revive this nearly forgotten attraction. Number 9. The Splash Party, made by Dutch manufacturer Vacoma. For this ride model, Vacoma took their suspended family coaster concept and reimagined it as an interactive water ride. Attached to the ride vehicles are laser guns, with one for each seat. Guests use these to trigger several water effects throughout the layout. They also have the ability to dump water on park guests below. To do this, the vehicles fill up at the station, and riders push a big button on the laser guns to dump the water. Meanwhile, guests on the ground can fight back with their own water guns, which they can use to soak the passengers. This concept was introduced all the way back in 2006, as evidenced by a conceptual animation from Vacoma. However, it wouldn't be until seven years later that one was installed at the UAE's Yas Waterworld. According to officials, the ride received glowing reviews from the public. However, to this day, it remains the only Splash Party installation. It's unknown if we'll ever see another installation, but considering its reported high cost and low capacity, don't be surprised if this model remains one of a kind. Number 8. The Rocking Boat Made by German manufacturer Mock Rides, this attraction is still in the development phase, but since a fully operational prototype was built, it qualifies for this list. First premiering at the 2020 FKF convention at Germany's Europa Park, this ride model consists of an 8-person boat moving along a submerged track. Despite being on a track, the boat still tilts and sways as if it's floating freely. This is due to an onboard drive motor which has full control of the boat's speed and position. This allows for a whole new range of unpredictable movements that wouldn't be possible at the track alone. At the more intense portions of the ride, guests will be able to feel like the boat is about to capsize. But the track below ensures that everything is controlled and passengers are never in any danger. Imagine if Universal was able to use this technology to create a re-envisioned Jaws ride the upcoming Epic Universe. Now that would be truly epic. Number 7. The Diving Bell Believe it or not, the ride in question dates all the way back to the 1930s, with the first patent being filed in 1938. This attraction consists of a small diving bell which guests would enter. Hydraulic pressure and a pulley system would lower the bell down the pole, submerging it in water. First debuting at the 1939 World's Fair, this was meant to be a slow ride. The original experience would gradually lower guests under the surface and allow them to look at fish in a tank before slowly bringing them back up. Eventually, someone got the idea to turn the experience into a thrill ride by releasing the brake at the bottom. This would allow the bell's buoyancy to send it shooting up to the surface. In a way, you could call it a precursor to the SNS Space Shot ride, but with buoyancy instead of compressed air. It was a creative use of physics. Unfortunately, none of these rides are still in operation. It's unknown why the concept died out, but it was likely due to maintenance issues. Nowadays, only one remnant of the ride is known to remain, and it's on display outdoors at New Jersey's Atlantic City Aquarium. Number 6. The Ferris Wheel Lift Rapid River Rides, made by German manufacturer Hafima. River Rapids rides have been a popular water attraction for quite some time. 
The premise is simple. Guests sit on a circular, free-floating raft that maneuvers a course full of dips, waves, and various other obstacles. On the surface, Hafima's Rapid River attraction seems like yet another run-of-the-mill rapids ride. However, the addition of one element in particular made this one a true oddity among the others. In the company's early years, some of their rapids rides actually featured a ferris wheel lift. Rafts would approach and board one of four platforms on the circumference of a large wheel. The wheel would then rotate, carrying the rafts to a thrilling drop. Notable installations of this include one at Egypt's Dream Park and one on El Rio at Belgium's Bobbian Land. Unfortunately, despite the innovation and interesting appearance, the wheel would be subject to a number of mechanical flaws. As a result, these wheels would both cease operation, leaving the wheel and the drop unattended. From there on out, rafts would bypass the wheel. Interestingly enough, there isn't footage of these wheels in operation, and photographs are rare. If you recall experiencing this wheel, leave a comment down below. Number 5. Flug des Ferro at Germany's Volantis Who would have thought you could find a pyramid in Germany? This particular ride is unusual in many ways. Built by German manufacturer Hafima Water Rides, this attraction can be considered a hybrid of a log flume, a water slide, and a river rapids ride. Before you even get on board, this attraction truly stands out, with some of the track being built inside a massive 102 foot tall pyramid. As such, many consider this to be one of the park's standout attractions based on its unique appearance alone. But this ride is more than just theming, as the experience itself is unique in its own right. Instead of the standard log flume boats, passengers board inflatable dinghy boats. While ordinary log flume boats would remain rigid, these boats can flex with the surrounding water. As such, the floor and seats will move underneath you, adding an extra sense of danger to the attraction. After entering the pyramid, you'll spot an animatronic archaeologist and eventually reach an elevator lift. As you ascend, an unsettling glowing image of an Egyptian death mask stares at you in the darkness. Then after a horizontal conveyor belt, you'll reach the main drop, which will plummet you down the side of the pyramid. The flexing boat and the lack of upstop wheels makes this drop feel much more exciting than an ordinary log flume. And as if that weren't enough, the ride concludes with a whirlpool effect that drops you into an underwater tunnel. Needless to say, this ride is highly sought after by water ride enthusiasts, and it absolutely qualifies as one of the strangest and most memorable water rides in existence. Number 4. Hydra Fighters at Florida's Wet n Wild Orlando You know how in cartoons the force of a strong hose often sends people rocketing into the air? Picture that, but as the concept for an amusement ride. This is yet another rare and obscure attraction to make the list. On the suspended thrill ride, two riders at a time sit back to back. Each one controls a hose that shoots out a high pressure water stream. The idea was to create a co-op thrill ride, where riders would work together to swing their gondola back and forth with the pressure from each hose. Guests working in tandem would be able to swing as high as possible and experience a ride that was both fun and thrilling. This was another ride that we had trouble finding information for, but there seems to have been a few other installations. Funtown USA had one from 1988 to 2000 named Hydro Fighter that was removed due to low capacity and high operational costs. It's your girl Heather again, stopping by to give an additional fact. Another problem with this ride was the fact that many riders could not figure out how to operate it correctly. Once again, feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any information about this ride. Number 3. Splashing UFO at Japan's Yomiuri Land do you love cup noodles? I sure do. Nothing beats a hot, fresh, and savory soup with all the carbs you can ask for. Cup noodles are so popular that there's actually a River Rapids ride theme to them at Japan's Yomiuri Land. From the same manufacturer as Fluke des Ferro, this ride is sponsored by ramen company Nissan. The ride experience has a few memorable features. For one thing, it has a pretty steep and intense drop that you normally don't see on rides like this. Moreover, there are buttons in the middle of the raft. Passengers use these to interact with a video game on an overhead projection screen, assisting the ride's ramen-themed superhero mascot. Even the scenery is ramen-themed, with dried pucks of instant ramen and a noodle-pulling machine. And of course, you can't forget that iconic kettle that splashes guests passing by. Without a doubt, this attraction is as unique as it is tasty, and if you take a trip to Japan, it alone is worth the price of admission. Number 2. The Water Jumping Built by Italian manufacturer Fabri Did you know there's a coaster out there that's actually supposed to fly off the rails? 
Say hello to the water jumping. This attraction is heavily based on the classic nautic jet flat ride, which is quite common in Europe. What isn't as common though is the version of this ride that can be considered an actual roller coaster. This ride starts off with a standard chain lift up a steel section of track. After traversing a turnaround, passengers plunge downwards. After reaching the bottom, the track suddenly ends, allowing the train to fly right off it into a pool of water. The train is specifically designed to not only take the fall, but to float on the surface as well. The rest of the ride's history though has been surprisingly pretty murky. Nevertheless, the water jumping has been installed in a few unspecified locations over the years. Just recently though, Michigan Cedar Valley Wild Frontier Fun Park installed an installation of their own, and its uniqueness is enough to put the small Michigan amusement park on the map. Number 1. The Big Waves Recently, the fine folks at Samperla have cooked up the latest innovation in drop towers and water rides. Say hello to the Big Waves. This drop ride consists of two towers with a gondola in the middle. The gondola lifts up the towers with a pool of water below. After reaching the top, the gondola splashes down, creating a spectacular wave of water that can soak the onlookers. This ride has two settings in regards to the wave. One setting can keep guests dry and send the wave outwards, while another can splash passengers as well. According to Zamperla, this ride can also come with a projection screen at the top which can show a video that corresponds with the ride experience. There are plenty of possibilities with this attraction. Some even suggested that during Halloween events, it could be themed to a guillotine with the water dyed red. It's without a doubt a concept worth looking out for. Special thanks to Canopy Coaster for helping me out with this video. He's got a lot of interesting water rides on his channel, so if you want to check it out, I've put a link in the description. Now it's time for the comment shoutout program. This is where I take three random comments from my past video and read them out. These comments are from my video on what not to do at a theme park. Willow Red Raven says, quote, This season I've been on so many rides brought to a halt to wait for the offender to put their phone away. It's crazy, even in Kittyland. land. Brian Crook says, quote, When on Shambhala a few years ago, that clamshell gave me more than enough airtime without trying to get it loose, thanks. And Derek Anno says, quote, Last year, me and a friend were e-stopped on Wild One at Six Flags America when someone decided to pull out a cell phone on the lift hill. An operator came up to collect it and the ride resumed as normal after a couple of minutes. The park isn't trying to not let you have fun. They care about their guests. They don't want you to lose your phone or have your phone hit other people. So many rides have either bins or lockers for you to put your loose items when you ride. It's in everybody's interest to use them. If you want to see your words in my next video, leave a comment down below and it may be selected. Please note though that inflammatory or spam comments will not be read. Thank you all so much, and if you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so once again at the link in the description. Thanks for watching everyone, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on social media on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or you can check out my website at ThemeParkCrazy.com. This is Theme Park Crazy, and I'll see you all next time.